Star Wars 7x7 episode 2226. Today, we're gonna do the non-spoiler audio review of Poe Dameron Free Fall. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, if you have ever had the opportunity to check out an audiobook, then you know that the experience of the audiobook is definitely different from the experience of reading an actual book. They are basically like comparing apples and oranges for all intents and purposes. I have to admit that, you know, I was never particularly an audiobook guy until I started reviewing Star Wars books in general and then having the opportunity to review audiobooks. It's really a whole new world and I don't think I actually, I can't even say for sure whether this is the case, but whether other audiobooks are as well produced, whether, you know, sound effects and music and, you know, Foley artists and all this stuff, like whether that stuff gets piped into other audiobooks, I don't know, but I'm thrilled that that's the case with Star Wars audiobooks because it really gives you more of the experience of being in a Star Wars story. It's, you know, one of the nearest things to be being actually in a theater, right? I mean, you've got the sound and you've got all of those effects that you know and love. You know, there's a lot to appreciate with the audiobook experience. Now here's the thing, I'm pretty sure up until this point in the podcast, it's actually kind of surprising now that we are as far in as we are, episode 2226. Um, I haven't done an audiobook review, I don't believe, of a young adult novel or a middle grade reader novel. All of the audiobook reviews that I've done have been ones for books that were published by Del Rey, which targets the adult market, whereas Disney Lucasfilm Press targets the younger audiences. So this was a first, and I didn't necessarily know what to expect. I was very pleased to find that the production was on a par with the Del Rey productions. And that's because, of course, it's actually pretty by Penguin Random House Audio, which does the Del Rey books as well. And thank you again, by the way, to Penguin Random House Audio for sending me a review copy of the audio to check out and to talk about with you. And Kevin Thompson, who is their producer and director for the Del Rey books, he's on board with this. And Nick Martorelli, who has been a guest on the podcast a couple of times, is the executive producer of this situation. So yeah, it is basically the same everything, like the same quality, the same wonderful experience. Now, this is where we have to take a moment for the Department of Corrections because previously I referred to the narrator of this as Sean Elias Reyes, and as I hear it pronounced in the audiobook, it's Sean Elias Reyes, so Sean, my apologies. Sean is also credited as Sean Kennan in other productions, including the Dooku Jedi Lost production where he plays Saifu Dias, and also the Dr. Afra audiobook where he plays plays triple zero. This, as far as I can tell, is his first Star Wars production where he is taking on the narration of the entire book and he does a great job. One of the particularly great things I think Sean does is his portrayal of Poe Dameron and also Kess Dameron, his dad. The two voices are actually similar and yet he manages to, you know, make one sound older and also makes Kess sound like not exactly like Poe will sound as an adult, but sound like he could sound many years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker, for example. Poe Dameron, young Poe Dameron, sounds like somebody who could grow into, say, the voice that we hear from Mark Thompson as he does Poe Dameron in the Rise of Skywalker adaptation or Resistance Reborn to name a couple of his recent ones. In other words, what I'm trying to say is Sean's performance is definitely on a par with what Mark does in terms of delivering Poe Dameron to us, you know, like a known character. That is not an easy thing to do and he does it and it doesn't sound like he's trying. It doesn't sound like he's forcing. And that actually brings me to something else about Sean's performance, which is that it's very natural. Like it feels like he is sitting next to you, reading the book, telling you the story, doing voices for the different characters. Like the naturalness of the delivery of the narration and the performance of the characters is really awesome. And if there is any you know, particular con that I have about the situation, well, 
I'll tell you about that in a second. I do want to give a quick shout out to our friends at Audible and the fact that we've got a free Audible trial opportunity for you and a free audiobook download situation at sw7x7.com slash audible. If you've never done a free trial with them, then you can check that out by going to that web address. And if you decide that Audible is really cool and you want to get more audiobooks, well, they give us a little bit of a referral that helps keep the lights on here. So thank you very much for sticking with me while I mention the fact that you can go to sw7x7.com slash audible for a free download and a free 30-day trial. The one con that I felt like was sort of you know, brought to light by the audiobook situation was the time it takes for Poe Dameron and Zori Bliss to actually meet. In the book, Poe is the first person to talk. You talk first, I talk first, <laughs> who talks first? He is the first person to say something to Zori as opposed to Zori talking to him. That happens at the top of page 44 in the book. So it goes pretty quickly, like you get there pretty quickly. In the audiobook, it's just about an hour into the audiobook before they actually have this exchange. And that, to me at least, felt like it was a little bit long, although that could be entirely on me for the fact that I read the book first before I listened to the audiobook version, and so maybe that was my own impatience wanting to get to that exciting moment because I also wanted to hear the characterization of Zori Bliss, which I thought was well done too. But it did kind of feel like slow going for me a little bit for that first hour, but right after that, the action kicks off and the special effects and the music and all of that stuff that helps make Star Wars what Star Wars is, what makes it so magical, that all kicks in and it's just a pleasure to experience. It's just over eight hours in total, so it goes pretty quickly as well. That's a couple hours longer than the Dr. Aphra audio drama, but it's definitely a lot shorter than, say, the Shadowfall audio was. So, yeah, it's a good time and Sean Elias Reyes does a great job with it and especially and importantly does a great job with the Poe Dameron character as well. So there you go. That is my pretty much non-spoiler <laughs> review of the audiobook version of Poe Dameron Freefall and that is going to do it for this episode of the show as well. Thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.